British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced new plans to get people back to work despite spikes in COVID-19 infections. He's concerned that a continuing lockdown will lead to a bigger economic fallout. Oli Barrett has been following the developments. He joins us from London right now. Oli, so how does Mr Johnson plan to get people back to work? You know, do, what do companies have to do? Well, this is really about a change in emphasis and tone from the government. What Boris Johnson is now saying is that from August the 1st, employers who believe that they have created a safe workspace when it comes to COVID-19 should talk to their employees. And if they consider that they should be, they can be more productive in the workplace than they are at home, then yes, they should encourage those workers to get back to work. He's not necessarily saying that everyone currently working from home needs to head straight into the office on August the 1st. But there is that change in emphasis, and this is partly to try and reinvigorate the economy with those workers being more productive, but also to try and make sure that city centres and town centres don't die because they are losing out on the trade that they normally see from commuters with regards to sandwich shops, coffee shops, um, retail that picks up on that commuter uh, trade. Some of this, though, is going to be uh, interesting to watch in terms of employers and employees. We're not quite sure what happens exactly if an employer says, we think you should all come back to work, get back to the office, and the workers say, we are not quite comfortable doing that yet. That may well lead to some disputes in workplaces, even the involvement of unions, but certainly a change in tone from the government starting August the 1st. And what about contingency plans, Ali, in curbing virus spread with more people movement? Well, certainly the government is saying, look, you still have to follow the guidance that is in place. You still have to social distance. You must wash your hands. You um, must continue to follow all the guidelines that the government has. It also says, Boris Johnson, the prime minister, saying that the government will put in place a national lockdown again if needed. Although he does also say that he wants to avoid that if possible. And from tomorrow, local authorities and councils up and down the country will have extra powers so that they can do more to impose local lockdowns if and when required. They can close off a park or an area of town uh, so that a hospital, for example, so that uh, the infection rate doesn't rise there and spread to other neighbourhoods nearby. Boris Johnson very much wants to avoid any more national lockdowns if he can. But at the same time, he's announcing further easing as well. Uh, from August the 1st, casinos, skating rinks, beauticians can reopen, not yet nightclubs or soft play areas. Indoor theatre will be allowed with socially distanced audiences in place. And crucially for uh, many English people, uh, fans will be allowed back into stadia to watch sport if the plans uh, go ahead, as the government hopes, on October the 1st. So that's big news for football fans here in England. All right, Mary, thanks for that. Ollie Barrett speaking to us from London.